Growing thick, healthy, long hair and having glowing skin is not just about having a great hair care routine or skin care routine, although it's a must and a huge part of it, but also what you are consuming and your nutrition most especially is key as well. So today I will show you two easy hair growth smoothies and a green juice for glowing skin. All right, so the first recipe is my fave. This is what I call my fresh Melona collagen drink. Now the ingredients are simple. You'll just need a cantaloupe melon. Now this fruit is rich in antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. It contains selenium, beta carotene, vitamin C, choline, vitamin A, vitamin C, E, vitamin K, B vitamins, folate, iron, zinc, niacin, magnesium, phosphorus, and manganese. And all of these are great in promoting hair growth and preventing hair loss. Okay, so what I'm doing here after I cut them all off, um, I'm just gonna put everything in a plate. And then the next ingredient, of course, is my keratin collagen. I like using this because the flavor tastes great and it blends well with so many smoothies that I include it with. Now this has a blend of hydrolyzed marine and bovine collagen, essential for promoting keratin production while boosting hair thickness. And then of course, milk. Now you can use any milk of your choice and then ice. Now I will put everything in the blender. Then as a sweetener, I will add a little bit of condensed milk. Now I usually add in raw sugar, but I didn't have it. So I just did that as a substitute, but you can also use honey. If you want to be sugar free, then don't put any and that's good too. So I just blended everything together and this is what it looks like. The melon that I got was luckily very sweet. So this tasted so much better because sometimes melon can taste very bland if it doesn't come from a good variety. And now from in here, I will add chia seeds. Now chia seeds are great for hair growth and also for your skin because it is rich in lysine, phosphorus, zinc, essential amino acids, and amongst the other vitamins and minerals. These are known to fortify hair fibers and provide strength to the roots and follicles so breakage is minimized. So I just mixed everything in and I just let that stay for eight hours to let it swell and then consume it. Now this tasted so amazing. It is actually very filling too. And when I visit my parentals, I always make this for my mom just because she likes it too. And so for the next smoothie recipe, you'll need mangoes. It's because mangoes is a great source of vitamin C, which boosts collagen production in the skin. Also, the vitamins found in mangoes promote the growth of healthy, strong, and shiny hair. It also contains vitamin A, folate, potassium, vitamin B6, vitamin K, calcium, and copper, which are all needed for growing healthy, long hair. Now, these mangoes are so sweet. Filipino mangoes are just the best. <laughs> I'm, and I'm not being biased, I'm just, it's really true. Okay, so the next ingredient is banana. I'm using banana because it is rich in magnesium, potassium, proteins, vitamin B6, vitamin C, and dietary fiber. And all are considered power nutrients for our hair. It also contains silica which is an essential protein that makes our hair stronger and thicker. Now, it is best to use this frozen, so that's exactly what I did with mine. And of course, I'll add in my collagen powder for more flavor and collagen. And then of course, I'm gonna use milk. Now once again, you can use any milk of your choice. And then I'm just gonna put them in the blender and then blend it all the way. Now for this, you don't really need to add any sweetener just because the banana and the mangoes are already sweet. And for me, I like it in this kind of consistency to, to where it's more to the thicker side. But if you want it to be more lighter, you can simply add in more water. Now, once again, this is very filling and it tastes really good. And the smoothie, by the way, is also great for both hair and skin. All right, and then lastly, I will show you my green juice for glowing skin. And this is great as well for hair growth. So the first thing that you'll need is apples. Now apples are rich in vitamin A, B complex, and C. It is great for maintaining healthy skin and helps strengthen the hair, nails, and skin cell production. Apples contain high content of vitamin C, which help builds collagen. And then the next ingredient we'll use is pineapples. Now pineapples calms inflammation, it fights damaging free radicals, it boosts collagen production, combats aging, speeds wound healing, and it inhabits hyperpigmentation because it is rich in vitamin C, antioxidants, and a powerful enzyme called bromelain. 
Now the last ingredient that I'll be using is a fresh malungai leaves or moringa leaves. Now the vitamin C and vitamin K in moringa preserves and boosts collagen, reducing premature signs of aging and repairing skin cells. So moringa helps neutralize free radicals, which is also a cause of reduced collagen, well-maintained hydration, also keeps the skin looking plump and useful. Just in case if you guys don't have any fresh malungai leaves, you can simply use the moringa powder one. So in here, I'll put all of them in the blender and then I'll just add in water and then blend it all together. Now you can sweeten this with brown sugar if you want to, but if the pineapple and the apples that you're using is already sweet, you don't have to add any sweeteners. Now this is what it looks like after. Well, this is actually one of my favorite green juice that doesn't taste icky because I'll be honest with you, I cannot stand most green juices but this one is something that I can actually enjoy and my family loves it too. So that is it you guys. I hope you all try out these recipes. These are so easy to do and I like keeping the ingredients of my smoothie minimum. I like to utilize the fruits that are in season right now. Also, if you guys are interested in the collagen powder that I'm using, I will put that in the description box. So that is it. A healthy hair growth and a healthy glowing skin is not just about the topical products that we put on both our hair and scalp or on our skin, but also it is in what we're consuming every single day. So that is it. If you all like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and share it to a friend if you found this content valuable and I will see you on my next one. Bye.